this was much darker than I gave it credit for being. Unfortunately, it, it uh, was kind of near the, the limb, near the edge of the earth from our view, so several hundred miles away, uh, but uh, it still was uh, impressive uh, to be able to see that dark spot as we passed by. In a total eclipse, day turns to night for several minutes. But there's more to the eclipse than just the moon blocking the sun. Under totality, we get a 360 degree sunset and sunrise from every direction at the horizon. The stars and planets will also be out. Try to locate familiar constellations like Orion, as well as Venus, Jupiter, and Mars. And don't be surprised if the temperatures drop. With the sun temporarily blocked, the mercury may go down by roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. You might even catch a glimpse. In Kentucky, Hopkinsville was ground zero, the point of the greatest eclipse. More than 150,000 people in town for the show. The mayor of Hopkinsville, Carter Hendricks, describes what the experience was like. Humbling in many ways, I mean, as a human being, to experience the total solar eclipse and to really be reminded of the power of this universe, of uh, the glory of our creator, uh, for me was just a humbling experience. Tennessee had a front row seat to the eclipse. This weekend has been hailed as the Burning Man of solar events. Eclipse chasers traveled from far and wide to Big Summit Prairie, Oregon to camp, dance, and see cosmic history with nearly 30,000 other solar enthusiasts. The Oregon Eclipse Festival was a week-long event celebrating the historic August 21st eclipse. Statistically, it is said that the Oregon Eclipse Festival is likely the biggest and most remote of eclipse gatherings in the U.S. The festival was organized by 13 festival promoters from around the world and featured art installations, workshops, and seven concert stages. Hey, I need to go home. I need to call my mom. <laughs> Thousands of people showed up across the West Coast, filling parks, roads, and even stadiums. Here in this video, courtesy of the International Space Station, the eclipse is beginning. And you can see the sunspots. The one that is moving is actually the International Space Station passing through. Watch the sky in Oregon change from dark back to day during the eclipse. For more news for it. But why? What's the big deal? There's an eclipse on Earth every 18 months. That is true. However, it's been nearly 100 years since there's been a total solar eclipse in the United States that ran coast to coast. From Oregon to South Carolina, this will be a very rare sight. The last total solar eclipse to be seen in the United States was in 1979, but it didn't run from coast to coast. The eclipse also offers a unique time for science. 
As the moon blocks out the sun, the sun's atmosphere becomes visible, exposing features that can only be seen during totality. We've waited a long time for a total solar eclipse, but we won't have to wait nearly as long for the next one, which will cross a portion of the United States in 2024.